Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. There are a whole host of different videos available on this channel. Loads of different content going up every single week. I'm sure there's something you'll find you like. Today I'm here to show you what I read in June. And there are three books this month. Failed a little bit, but still three books. I'm going to show you them in the chronological order that I read them. The first book I read this month is by E. Lockhart and it's called We Were Liars. This one blew my mind just a little bit, I have to admit. It follows the tale of a girl and her kind of cousins and family friends who visit an island every year and one year an accident happened so we revisit it later when the accident's happened and the girl doesn't remember how the accident happened. So she's kind of going back to the island to see her friends and family and try and remember what happened on the island and why she feels like she does and all of this kind of stuff. And it's a wonderful story. The characters are really well developed. They're quite likeable, even though they're not necessarily nice people, if that makes sense. Um, they're really kind of characters with depth. You can sort of get your teeth into the characters and find out more about them as you go along, which I really liked about the story. Um, the twist at the end, mental. <laughs> it's amazing. I can't tell you because it will ruin the whole book for you, but there's a fantastic twist and you're reading it and you're just going, what, what, are you sure? Um, so that's definitely, definitely worth getting. It's such a good book. I really, really enjoyed reading it. I probably read it in like two days. It was a really good read. Definitely recommend it. The second book I read is The Circle by Dave Eggers. Now this one was in my summer to be read, which I will link here. And I was really looking forward to reading it. My sister had recommended it to me too. And it is about a girl who gets a job at a technology company called The Circle. And The Circle controls lots of different aspects of the internet and how we kind of behave on the internet. And there's a lot of kind of control and all that kind of stuff. And for me as a blogger and vlogger, it scared me a bit, this book, if I'm honest. It ends up in sort of a totalitarian state where the government has control over everything and people cannot go anywhere or do anything without the government seeing. And they bring in these kind of lollipop sized cameras which they place everywhere with the idea that people won't commit crime if they are seen to be committing crime. And it's a scary book because although it's sort of this dystopian view of the world, there's actually a fair amount of it which you read it and you just think, this could happen, this could actually happen and that's really quite troubling if I'm honest. It's a, it's a great book. There are moral decisions that the girl makes which are, you kind of just wish her and will her to make different decisions but she doesn't. Um, that's a bit disappointing. I found the end a bit disappointing. There's a big kind of shark in a tank metaphor that I'm not gonna ruin for you, but I found that was a bit clunky. It didn't kind of read that well, if that makes sense. It didn't mean I enjoyed the book any less. It was just a bit of a an awkward ending, if that makes sense. So anyway, Dave Eggers, The Circle, and this has been made into a film with Emma Watson and I think Tom Hanks, not positive, and it's available on Netflix at the moment. So I'm gonna watch the film, so I might let you know what I think about the film as well. The final book that I read this month is Louise Pentland's Wild Like Me. And because I've been a big fan of Louise's for far too long, um, I got a signed copy. As in, she didn't sign it for me. I like bought a signed copy from WH Smith <laughs> online. So that was kind of my treat to myself this month. I really, really enjoyed this book. I liked the character of Robin Wilde. She had kind of some depth to her. She had some clout to her. She was a single mum and kind of going through what they call the emptiness, which is that sort of feeling of you get home and there's just nothing, like you drop your kids off from school and there's just nothing to look forward to. You just sort of feel a bit like dead inside. I'd never really heard it called the emptiness before, but I thought it was a really spot on saying because I think we've all felt that at some point in our life, be it you know, whenever. Um, so it follows the journey of this single mum and her options around working, finding the right man, the kind of 
whole dating scene, dates that go wrong. And it made me laugh out loud in bits. I really like the kind of head up to a sprinkle of glitter, which there's definitely like a, a sprinkle of glitter phase in there. Um, and I really liked that. And I thought the characters were very likeable. The daughter Lila was really sweet. And um, if my daughter said some of the things like Lila said, I would just be like, oh, I'm bringing her up right. Um, so really likeable characters, really easy to read. It flowed well. It was well written. My only slight criticism is that when Robin was kind of getting amorous with a man, then that's kind of where it ended. There was no sort of description of it. And I don't know if that's me being like really sleazy, but I kind of wanted to know a little bit more at that point. I felt like we could have gone a bit further there. And I think in other books, like say for example, Jennifer Fletcher's books, they really go into detail there. And I felt it kind of, need, not necessarily needed it, but I think it could have sort of been embellished a little bit. That, those are my thoughts on that book I really enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend it so you could go out and read it that's it only three books this month I'm also reading The Handmaid's Tale which I'm really really enjoying um, but obviously I can't tell you about it properly until I've actually read it but I'm also enjoying watching it on TV I hope you enjoyed this video if you have give us a thumbs up if you would like to then please subscribe and please do because I'm so close so close to 2000 so I would love some more subscribers and I will see you again soon. All right, bye.